Hi guys, I just finished reading From Dead to Worse by Charlene Harris. I believe this is number eight in the series. So I didn't really like this book. I think so far this is my least favorite out of all of them. Putting aside the regular problems that I have with everything, I felt like this book was filler. Like it really did not progress the story too much. But in a way, it kind of um, was a cheap way of progressing the story too fast, if that makes any sense. So we had a lot of like plot points, a lot of conflicts that went up really fast, and you thought that would be the main conflict of the story, and then all of a sudden it was resolved in about three sentences. And that happened numerous times, which to me, it just felt like this was a tie-up loose ends book. It didn't really have its own plot, didn't really have its own story. The purpose of it was probably to further future books. Now, what I mean about that is, so we go with the werewolf war, where the packs are fighting, the vampire takeover, um, what happened to Quinn in the last book, um, Hadley's son that we discovered in the last book, uh, we have progression of Arlene being a bigger asshole, uh, Jason and his wife's issues, which stemmed from the last book. Basically all of this stuff is stuff that stemmed from the last book. And this was just kind of let me tie up loose ends. So when I start the next book, we can start fresh with a new story. Now we also discover in this book that uh, Sookie's great-grandfather, who is fairy, prince, fairy, king, whatever, comes down and makes himself known to her, but doesn't want anything to do with Jason. We don't know anything about him. We don't know his motives. Basically, he's saying, I needed to stay away from you for however long because of my son, which was her father, I think, or her, her grandfather, whatever the case may be. Um, we're still working on the Eric and Sookie blood bond. And yeah, so it just felt like a lot of quickly tying up loose ends. And this book really didn't have its own plot. So other than that, it was the same as every other book. Sookie gets herself into trouble because she can't keep her nose out of supernatural business. And we just go from there. Um, now, we, oh, we also resolved the Bob issue. So everything that was kind of hanging loose in the last few books wrapped up neatly in this book. So I will end up reading the rest of them. But right now I am going to be reading Saga uh, number three. So eventually I will get to the rest of these books. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this. Anybody else has read these books? Let me know what you think.